The residential property market in Metro Manila hits a 29-month oversupply, marking the highest vacancy rate for residential spaces since the pandemic. But experts believe the property sector is on track for a recovery driven by consecutive rate cuts from the central bank, as well as expectations of further policy easing. Mas murong humiram para mag-create ng bago supply. No? Maring may correction ngayon, gawa nga na sa ibang sector yung iiwanan ng Pogo. No? Hintayin nila na lalong bumaba yung financing costs bago sila mag-locking. Para... Of the unsold condominium units across Metro Manila, 18,000 are in Quezon City. I think that's not uh, something that's uh, QC-specific. No? You have a confluence of things. A lot of uh, developers are understand. Are, this is based on our understanding. If we're developing uh, initially, it, a lot of them had started before the pandemic. Uh, you know, when you develop and enter a project, it's a multi-year. These projects aren't built uh, overnight. No? So you have that. You still have the effects of the pandemic. Now you have the effects of the ban in Pogo, which of course uh, results in a, a lot of workers that would have been buyers uh, leaving. Um, so a lot of the buyers uh, or even renters are combination of uh, you need workers or people with income and you know uh, like it or not uh, the Pogos uh, did bring a lot of people in uh, uh, and so there are uh, benefits it, it, we while there are, are definitely negatives to it uh, there, there there were benefits in terms of uh, property and the developers continue to develop without realizing or expecting that that would happen. So when that happened, uh, now you have an excess. But in the office sector, companies are expected to relocate or expand to Quezon City from more expensive business districts such as Makati and Bonifacio Global City. The city is promoting green initiatives uh, as, as one. No? It's, it's a lot of green initiatives so uh, and a lot of uh, public uh, building public open spaces, but we're in the process of doing. And of course, you have your active transport promotion uh, bike lanes, your uh, attempts to pedestrianize. Interest in Quezon City is also boosted by key infrastructure projects, such as the construction of MRT-7, the Bulacan Airport, and the North Bus Terminal. Quezon City currently offers 3.1 million square meters of office space. Sujin Kim, BNC.